If you've got a web app idea, then it is time to turn it into reality with Hosting Your Horizons. And if you don't know what Hosting Your Horizons is, it's a web app creator that lets you create web apps by just chatting with AI. And in this video, I'll share some prompting tips to make your web app building experience as smooth as possible. So let's go. So I mean, if you've ever used a chat-based AI tool, you'll know the golden rule of prompting. Be clear and very specific. And hosting your horizons is no different because the more to the point and definitive your prompt is, the easier it will be to get the results that you want. And I mean, just imagine you tell the AI, make a task manager. Okay, what kind of task manager? A simple to-do list, a full project management tool? Is it for teams or solo use? See the problem here? I mean, the AI can only work with what you give it, so leave no room for error here. So guys, instead of saying something like make a task manager, try something like the prompt you're seeing on the screen right now. And with a prompt like this, you're telling Horizons the purpose of the web app, describing how users will interact with it and providing some design direction as well. And this way, the AI knows exactly what you want and you will be getting the best results possible. Now, my next tip also concerns clarity. And when prompting with Horizons, the last might just be more. And if you cram too many features into one request, the AI might just skip over something really essential. So if your web app idea is a bit more complicated, don't just throw everything at the AI in one giant prompt and instead break it down into smaller and more manageable parts and start with the core functionality first. For example, if you want a budgeting app, let's say, with expense tracking, spending insights, and savings goals, let's say, don't ask for all of this at once. Start with something like this prompt you're seeing on the screen once again. Perfect example here. And once that is in place, you can build on it with other prompts like these little ones. And by addressing each feature with a specific prompt, you'll make the development process much more focused, get cleaner results, and have way more control over how your web app takes shape. Okay, now guys, hosting our horizons is really powerful, but it does not read minds. I mean, at least not yet. So if you want something really specific, just spell it out. Adding constraints and preferences will guide the AI and you will end up with exactly what you need. I mean, let's say you're building a language learning platform and want a clean and very minimalistic look. A prompt like this, while simple and to the point, won't give you what you need. That is because it's too open-ended. Horizons might give you a busy design with sidebars, widgets, and other extras you absolutely do not need. Instead, try a prompt along these lines. And see, I mean, here by including what you want and what you don't, you'll steer the AI in the right direction. Just try it out yourself, and I'm sure the results will actually fit your vision. Now, these prompts that I've displayed on the screen work way better, so try something similar like that. And also, just keep in mind that sometimes words just are not enough. So if you have a specific layout or design in mind, why not just show the AI instead of telling it? I mean, remember that hosting your horizons does let you upload images. So if you sketched up a rough wireframe or found an example of a layout you want, just upload it as a visual prompt. To do that, just click the paperclip icon in the prompt field to do just that, or paste it in as an image straight from your clipboard. That also works really well here. And here's an example. I mean, look at this prompt. It's a mouthful. So instead of writing it all out, take a piece of paper and draw it. Then take a pic and share it with Horizons. It's that simple. Once you've uploaded that image to Horizons, the AI will analyze the image and generate something very close to what you're imagining. Oh, and by the way, you can also take a screenshot of your creation and submit it straight into Horizons along with a specific request of what you want to change. So just don't forget to use these images when building your web app as it will save you a ton of time and also credits on back and forth tweaks. And now, I mean, even the best web apps need a little bit of tweaking. Maybe a button isn't clickable, the layout looks off, or something just isn't working as expected. Well, that is not a problem because hosting your horizons can fix that for you. So no, you definitely don't need to start over. Instead, just tell horizons what's wrong and ask it to sort it out for you, just like I did earlier that you're seeing on the screen 
screen right now. It works really well, guys. And even if there's a preview or another error, you can just tell the AI to get on top of it as well. In such cases, the prompt can be as minimalist as this one you're seeing. Or you can get into even more detail. So just tell Horizons you've run into an issue and paste in the problematic bit. So remember, Horizons will analyze and correct errors. You just need to point them out for it. And my final tip of the day concerns another way to break down complex ideas and make them as easy for Horizons to digest as possible. And that is to include steps in your prompts. And this is actually a really great practice if you want to be really efficient with your message limits. So by breaking down what you want Horizons to create into some actual steps, you'll ensure the AI goes through your prompt bit by bit and the results match your vision exactly. And here is an example of it. This is something I did earlier and I've already submitted my prompt for creating an event planner tool. So this definitely worked pretty great. So I mean, even though that worked great, I wanted to add some more features to it. So instead of sending multiple messages to Horizons, I just submitted one formatted just like this. And just look at that. I mean, Horizons is working through each step and the results included everything I've asked for. So just try this yourself and trust me, you will definitely be amazed. And I mean, that's all the prompting tips I have for you for today. So just keep them in mind next time you're building your web app and I promise you, you will love this experience much more. And if you watch this video without having tried, to hosting your horizons out now is the best time to do it it just launched in early access so click the link in the description down below and also don't forget to use the discount code hzn10 to get 10 percent off of your plan i mean we've also got a 30 day money back guarantee in place so you can try horizons out risk free and also guys please make sure to drop by the hosting your horizons discord community for tips on everything web app related there are some really cool things on there. And if you found this video helpful, drop us a like and consider subscribing to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos just like this one in the future. Now, thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your web apps.